Buyer beware. Welcome back, folks, to How to Be Pro. Or in this case, How to Be a 1940s Detective. Gives you that leg up. And you this is going to be one of our best episodes. Because I just, you saw, I just it feel it. You have the gumption, the this feels like the this is going to be the episode that brings it all together and actually make us a detective control. again. This could be right now I'm just your run of... Oh. Starting it again, right away. We've got ourselves a dead man. LAPD! Could you stand clear of the body? Yeah, please? see? You notice this episode's good right away, because Ralph's not with us. Because Ralph. An the police, oh, God, it's the guy from uh, Two and a Half Men. God damn it, Ralph. Are you just on top okay, of everything? Stand further back and move along. Oh, that's it's not Ralph. Choice, yeah, there's Ralph. People. Fucking Ralph. I was... Hey, Cole. Hi, Ralph. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Yeah. Okay. You're first reporting then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. He's right there, isn't he? The guy with that ugly ass hat. Search crime scene, okay. So we're the first thing we gotta do. Crowded street. Throw the body over, that's very professional. I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job. Let's see what we got here. What do you there's a fucking thing there? Oh no, not that pocket. Okay, let's see. Aha. See there's always something in the pockets. And it's maybe covered in blood, so we gotta see Gatella. Payments made. P Martin, P Martin. There we go. Layaway voucher. Merchandise is not fully paid for. That's this is what we're looking for, people. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Hmm. Yeah. Put the voucher back in him. Now he's got he's got a little bit of the guy that looks like Loki from Fear. Let's, let's check his arm out. He has a nice arm. And it's about as much as you're gonna get out of an arm, though. I've I've seen arms before. Check this one out. Yeah, see, he does have a hand on both of his arms, so we got that out of the way. Let's, let's check this out. Looks like he's doesn't know how to keep his blood in his mouth, which is odd. Uh, is this? Oh, I didn't. No, put that back. Put that back, Cole. We don't need that. We already seen this. We we seen that already, Cole. He looks silly now. People are looking at you and they're just like, look at this guy. He's doing what he wants. Alright, let's see what's going on in here. We should make sure we check the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Oh my goodness. Alright, alright, yes. Oh, hmm. So I just flipped the body over and just left it like that? Is that how? Don't you people have anything better to do? Really? Right, what do you want, miss? I'm Officer Phelps, miss. I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? Did you? <laughs> he was my boss. Mr. Gage. Uh huh. Mr. Gage's first name. Everett. Everett Gage. Terrible name. Galleta. Clovis Galleta. Does everyone have terrible names? Apparently. All right. Let's get some. Let's get some information out of this broad. Uh, what do I press here? I, wait, oh, wait, wait. All right. Shoe store clerk. I, there we go. You think you could tell me exactly what happened? Yeah. I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when yeah. Mr. Gage, my boss. Yes, we got. He's your boss. In yelling that I'm late on my lunch. Uh huh. And we came back. I was. And you angry. shot him. I walked in front. Uh -huh. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. Oh, you seen him fall. <laughs> Alright, we get it. You will need to present evidence. I want to present you of lying. Can I? Um, I'm going to say you're a liar. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. Bullshit! I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Oh, see, we got um, a layaway voucher. They're pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've yeah. been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Yeah, oh, you... God! I won't lose the earrings, will I? Oh, you my God, that's at least your problems, you, you dumb bitch. You don't a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. Yeah, that's why this is that so hard. He's showing me a lovely watch. 
Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Yeah, was it? Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to well, work. Well, if you could just work every right now and then. We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang. And another, and another. So why did you lie? Did you get anything Mr. out of it, Gage you dumb whore? His knees. It looked very painful. Well, yeah, maybe if you weren't a dumb bitch. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway, between 5th and 6th. All right. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Did you? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. All right, so we got a... That was easy. He threw the gun and you threaten pearl earrings on a woman and bam, she gets you right into what you need to do. I know. Okay, so it pretty much tells me what to do here. So this is, yeah, we get it. I doubt you, bitch. An angry Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Yeah, I'm part Hulk, you know. Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Yes, please. Mr. Gage hates Jews. Wow. A lot of people do. Wow. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Wow. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. I guess this one's going to be they truth. so loud. Although she do that thing for her eyes. Oh, no, it's just truth. So what you do in this game is you question, I guess, like a real detective. And she's such a bitch. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Yeah. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then mm -hmm. three very quickly close together. Five. So five. Yeah, two plus three is five. Thank you for your help, ma'am. Oh, we very brave. There we go. We'll need you to make a formal we, we, statement. We gained great experience. I don't Does even know what experience might do. My, Ooh, one machine point. You should stop worrying about your earrings and start worrying about if you're going to prison or not. I think I got enough of the body here. Alright. <laughs> Why is Ralph coming? Alright, we're gonna go to the jewelry store. Okay, so what you wanna do is back up. Yeah, real nice. You drive over a you kidding me? I mean, that was on purpose. Alright, so okay, this time what you want to do is do the exact same thing, but slightly different. No, it can't, can't, it can't contaminate the, the place, right? We're just gonna drive backwards, hit this vehicle, get the hell out of my way. I'm a police officer. You want me to keep tabs on the path of destruction you're creating? Why did you come, Ralph? If you're just gonna bitch. You're a real Misty, I'll let you know that right now. You're pretty much the Misty of this little this little cop gang I got going. And you're just ruining absolutely everything. In this police force. Ah, oh, jeez. What are you doing to this car? Ralph. This is nothing. Did you see the last car? I just I don't I don't I I don't understand what Ralph thinks driving is but he just doesn't know why do you think he never drives because he's worse he's worse Ooh, i just thought i could drift Ooh, that was badass i mean so you want to drift and then go into broadway street and then once you get to the jewelry store hartfield's jewelry store it's 2 36 p.m pretty early still um we're gonna go talk have a little talk with hartfield all right all right question him officer can I interest you in a new watch? Oh, yeah, you can interest me in a new watch, all right. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. 
I don't believe that for a fucking second. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Oh, wow, well, I went the wrong way. I'm coming for you, Edgar. Edgar Kuglua. Inventor of Kalua. Get back here! Oh, I gotta shoot him. He's going too fast. Edgar! Why would it tell me how to shoot? What? Why would it tell me how to shoot? No, okay, I just gotta shoot him in the legs. Okay, I shot him in the chest. He probably died. This time I'll get him. I was just too far behind. Officer Cole Phelps. Hey, we know it's perfect. I can't skip. Edgar Kalu. Uh, no. no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. So I had to wait until it tells me to shoot him and then shoot him in the legs when I'm close enough. Yep, yeah. alright. I already know what he's gonna do. Come here. Hey, Kalu. Come here, Kalu. We already know you shot. Get back here. Oh, what? He's still running. He's fine. Why is it telling me to shoot people? You know what? That's that's good for now. Um, but um, as you know. Now you know that 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 was actually a tip because the game tricks you into shooting him when 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 the when the running gets tough. Don't shoot Edgar Kalua. But um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you learned some tips. And if you wanna, if you have any questions about this video, leave some in the comments. And yeah, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Ciao.